A ceasefire may be in the works in the war between Israel and Hamas as soon as next week. And if it works, several hostages could be freed. That's according to President Biden. Under a framework agreement, Israel would temporarily stop combat operations in Gaza during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. It would also free hundreds of Palestinian prisoners. In exchange, Hamas would release more hostages. But, and this is a big but, Israeli and Hamas leaders do not appear to share Biden's optimism. In fact, both sides say they're still far from a deal. Negotiators are in Qatar this week trying to hammer out details. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu once maintains that a ceasefire would not bring an end to the war, nor would it accomplish Israel's stated goal of eradicating Hamas. Target number one for Israel, the most wanted man in Gaza, Yahya Sinwar. He's a Hamas leader and the alleged mastermind behind the October 7th attacks. And it's important to note he himself was a prisoner released in a similar hostage deal back in 2011. Take that for what it's worth. The Israeli military reportedly believes Sinwar is hiding in tunnels beneath his hometown of Khan Yunus and surrounding himself with hostages to stop the IDF from capturing or killing him. Using human shields is a war crime under the International Criminal Court. But this all raises questions. Is killing the top Hamas leader worth risking hostages' safety? And on the other hand, are those proposed terms of the ceasefire deal too friendly to the butchers behind October 7th? Joining us now is retired Navy SEAL and officer and recon Marine, Mike Sorelli. Uh, Mike, great to have you with us. These revelations that Sinwar is surrounding himself with hostages, using them as human shields, what does that look like? Does he just move everywhere with a, a, a group of hostages in tow? Elizabeth, it adds a complexity to a potential raiding force that's trying to both eliminate Sin, or Sin, uh, I'm sorry, uh, both the uh, both the, the the target as well as the uh, the hostages. Uh, but you know, he's usually if he moves positions, they're going to move part and parcel. The hostages to the new location, but Sinwar uh, Yahya is not, uh, he's not stupid, or Yahya Sinwar, uh, he, they are going to make this as complex on the rating force as possible. Intelligence and security officials say it's not about finding Sinwar so much, it's about capturing him without harming the hostages um, that he has all around him. Is, is, is that even, you said it's incredibly difficult, but it is possible? Well, let's look at a historical context. Uh, the raid on bin Laden or Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi were very complex missions. While there were innocent or non-combatants on the target, there were no hostages. So basically you've created or you're taking a complex, a complex direct action raid combined with a hostage rescue attempt. And to make matters worse, it'll probably take place in a complex tunnel system. Right. And this is where it's extremely complicated. Tunnel systems are a linear uh, form of warfare and it blunts or negates a tactical element's ability to maneuver as well as use technology like aerial assets overhead to their advantage. Yeah, it's made all the tougher because he's down in those tunnels. Uh, I want to go back. We were just showing a moment ago uh, the IDF released video uh, from last week showing Sinwar in a, in a Khan Yunus tunnel. Um, they have video of him apparently walking through this tunnel with both his family, his children. If they know where he is, what's taking so long to target him? Here's that video. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, look, he's the got his kids of, right behind him. Which is similar to, uh, again, al-Baghdadi, who ultimately took his life when they raided him um, and killed both himself, his wife, and his children. But, you know, Israel's not on a timetable while the mess, rest of the world may be. They're, this is a generational fight. And they're demonstrating tactical patience to make sure that all the conditions are uh, to their, to their uh, metrics is as successful as possible meaning they can rescue as many hostages as possible while eliminating uh, Yahya Sinwar. So, uh, you know, it's a moral and tactical dilemma, and in some ways a spiritual dilemma, is Israel's not going to give the green light on a raid until they believe they have the highest probability for success. Right, and Netanyahu would face a lot of criticism if they conducted a raid that killed Sinwar and also killed several of these hostages. I'm sure he's keeping high-value hostages near him. He is. And, and you got to understand, Israel's already lost the media war. Yeah. So regardless of raid is, is going to lose in the eyes of the world, but he could draw criticism internally from those who are, uh, you know, critical of the way he's conducted this war within Israel. It's just going to give them more 
ammunition, so to speak. Yeah, you're a former Navy SEAL. Would you want to be on that mission down in those tunnels? Uh, you know what? Uh, the challenge, yes. My, 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 my brothers in arms and I, especially if innocent lives are being held, we're going to do whatever is necessary to rescue them in the Israeli Special Forces are skilled at direct action raids as well as hostage rescue. They're amongst the best globally. So I have no doubt they'll figure a way to get in there. All right. Mike Sorelli, thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.